Hello YouTube and welcome to part 7. Today we're going to build a little bit of a grid view and we're going to add some labels and entries to it and buttons. And We're going to give the buttons a little bit of functionality too. So first things first we're going to go up to our portable app and we're going to add a new item, a new form XAML page and then we're just going to name this giving buttons purpose and add. Alright, let's just organize this up a little bit. We won't need the XAML for now, so or we won't need the XAML.cs for now. So you can go ahead and just take this out. Now we might as well go to our main page and edit this. Giving buttons purpose. And we're the description is going to be using the grid view to have some button examples. To give some buttons purpose, that would be better. Okay. I'll scroll down and create a new navigation. new giving buttons purpose. All right, now we're done there. We can just go ahead and save that. So inside of here we'll give this a title same as what we have it named as. All right, now we can just get into it. So to create our grid we're going to need to define definite or we're going to have to define rows and columns. So, just make a grid. Now, we're going to start out with our rows first. So, grid.row definitions. And now we're going to have four rows. So, row definition height. We're actually just going to set this for 50 for this example. Whenever you're building an app of your own, you can just uh, experiment with what size you want them. Go ahead, copy this to make four. Now we're going to create our column definitions. And same way, column definition. And this is actually going to be width. And we can actually set this to an asterisk because it will auto adjust for us. Go ahead and copy that and just paste another. Alright, so now our grid is all set up. Uh, you want to actually be inside of the grid but add a few uh, lines in between. So we're going to go ahead and create a label, an entry, two buttons and an another label. Now inside of our label we can go ahead and start defining where each of these items are going to be placed on our grid. So we're going to type grid dot, we'll start out with the row, zero, because this is going to be pretty much an array. An array start out at zero instead of one. Grid dot column equals zero. The entry is going to be grid dot row one and grid dot column two or actually zero because we're going to stay on the left side. Now for the button grid dot row two and column is going to be zero again. For the next button we're actually going to keep the row the same and we're going to actually increment the column. So the column will be one. Now this label is going to be our third row or technically fourth. and 
zero for the column. Now this is all going to be on the left side, but we want to actually span the columns for some of these to t take up two columns. So we're going to do that by grid dot column span. We're going to type in a two there, and we're going to do that for everything but the buttons. Okay. Now, what this program is actually going to do is we are going to enter our names or any name, and it's going to tell you either hello or goodbye. So, just a simple little application, but it'll get our point across for how we use buttons and actually using an entry as well. So, let's go ahead and give the first label some text. Obviously, we know how to do that by now. So, text enter your name and let's go ahead and give that a text size of 25 or a font size actually of 25 okay now for our entry we're going to have to give it a name so we can access this in our code Xamarin colon name is going to be name entered And for these buttons, we're going to give them, jeez, we're going to give them some text as well. Not template page, some text. So we're going to call this one hello on the left side and goodbye for the right side. And this one we can just leave this blank but we're actually going to have to give it a name. So Xamarin name equals output name or name output whatever you want to put you know just as long as you know what the variable is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our giving buttons purpose XAML.CS. You can go ahead and drag this over here and now we're going to be creating two methods over here. Underneath our public, we're going to create another public void on hello button pressed. Then we're going to need two parameters in here. An object, you can call it whatever you want. Usually it's called sender. And an event argument, which I will just have as E. Put in the curly braces, and we'll create the next one public void on goodbye button pressed object sender event arguments e okay now over here inside our hello button we're going to create something called clicked now this is going to be our on hello button pressed now these can be names whatever you want them to be named but as long as you know what they are, you know, what they're named, it doesn't really matter. On goodbye, button pressed. Okay. Now let's go ahead and run this. Just make sure everything's okay. Our giving buttons purpose item has shown up on the list. And there we go. This is what our layout looks like so far. So what you'll do is enter a name, you know, enter Sam or something, it'll say hello or goodbye. And it'll appear actually underneath here. So go ahead, I'm going to stop the project, and let's just give our bottom label a font size of 25 as well. Now in our code, we are simply going to reference our label name. So go ahead by doing so by output name equals or dot text equals in quotation marks hello space and our entry is called name entered. So name entered dot text. And then for our goodbye, do the same thing except goodbye instead of hello.
keep it consistent. All right, so now go ahead and run this. All right, so now let's just enter your name. We'll just enter Mac. Hello, Mac. And goodbye. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.